Published 9.28 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 16th of April 2018. Updated 20.38 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 16th of April 2018. Nikki Lauda has appeared to dismiss the possibility of Daniel Ricciardo joining Lewis Hamilton at Mercedes. Ricciardo, winner of the Chinese Grand Prix, is out of contract at Red Bull at the end of the season and has been linked with Mercedes and Ferrari, but Mercedes chairman Lauda said, Valtteri Bottas did a perfect job on Sunday. Other than for Red Bull's strategy trick with the tires, he would have won. We don't need anyone else. Our lineup is perfect as it is, Daniel Ricciardo celebrates after taking a surprise victory at Sunday's Chinese Grand Prix Mercedes chairman Nicky Lauda said, we don't need anyone else. Our lineup is perfect as it is. Ricciardo has also been urged to resist the lure of a dream team pairing with Hamilton, by Red Bull team principal Christian Horner. Ricciardo, who is out of contract with a Milton Keynes outfit at the end of the season, delivered an overtaking masterclass to win in China on Sunday and stamp his authority on this season's title fight. Valtteri Bottas is on only a one-year deal at Mercedes, and Ricciardo, 28, has made no secret of wanting to team up with Hamilton during his career. Mercedes boss Toto Wolff is also on the record as being a huge admirer of the Australian. Ferrari could also be an option for Ricciardo in 2019 with Kimi Raikkonen's future beyond this year in doubt. But Horner has not only called on Ricciardo to stay put, but questioned why he would want to leave a team seemingly heading on an upward trajectory. Ricciardo has been linked with moves to Mercedes and Ferrari in 2019 where he could replace fellow Chinese podium finishers Valtteri Bottas, left, or Kimi Raikkonen, right, respectively Daniel is happy in our environment so if we can provide a car like we did in China then, why would he want to be anywhere else, Horner said, we have got a very quick car which we have demonstrated, Daniel is a very rounded driver, and he is absolutely at the top of his game and he has been for the last couple of years. He has that balance of experience and is one of the best overtakers in the business. His judgment is impeccable. There were contrasting fortunes on the opposing side of the Red Bull garage in Shanghai after Max Verstappen's aggressive driving prompted further criticism. Verstappen ran off the road in his pursuit of Hamilton and then collided with championship leader Sebastian Vettel. But team boss Christian Horner believes the Australian is best staying at Red Bull Mercedes non-executive chairman, and three-time world champion Nicky Lauda, has led the calls for Verstappen, 20, to address his tactics following two high-profile collisions in as many Grand Prix. But while the Dutchman, who was given two penalty points on his license, said he must learn from his recent mistakes, he also admitted he is unlikely to tone down his edge-of-the-seat style, maybe I should not calm down, but oversee the situation a bit more, Verstappen said, I don't think I necessarily need to be less aggressive, as it has nothing to do with being overly aggressive, but maybe I am just wanting it too much, I have been quite good at overtaking before but somehow this year, maybe with the previous two races not going my way, I've wanted to recover the points and it's worked against me. Of course, this is definitely not what I want. It's a life lesson and I need to learn from what has happened.